Hello Sagittarius and cross watchers. Thank you for tuning in. This is going to be your weekend read for September 6th, 7th and 8th. You versus them. Um, if you guys are currently subscribed, thank you so much for your love and support. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Um, I give away free readings every month, tarot cards and oracle cards. The winners will be announced on your monthly readings. Uh, so please be sure to click that notification bell so um, you're notified for when those readings come out and you can see if you have won anything okay um, I am taking personal readings right now uh, the information is in the description box below it is ten dollars off your first reading with me the deck that we're using today is called the, the druid craft deck I have finally finally updated my list below of all my uh, decks. So I have 83 decks. I was only able to fit 73 in the description box. So this is going to be number 72. There is an Amazon link in case you are interested in purchasing. Yes, I know I have a lot of decks. Don't judge me. I just can't stop shopping. It's like a thing. Well, I guess I like to call myself a tarot card collector. It makes me feel better about myself. So let's see here, guys. So you know how this works. If this resonates, great. If it doesn't resonate, then it's simply not your message, okay? Um, these are collective readings. They're not meant for everybody. So if it doesn't fit, you know, don't try to force it, okay? Just take whatever resonates and leave the rest. All right, guys. So... Let's see what we have going on here. So Sagittarius, I am going to read you on this side, your person on this side. Feel free to flip it, switch it, reverse it, fit it however way um, it fits into your situation, okay? So for my Sagittarians, we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. I feel that you truly love this person, Sagittarius. You, the problem is this person may be suffering from some addictions. It could be sexual addiction, drug addiction. Um, it can be, you know, uh, drinking. It could be partying. I don't know. But they have some type of addiction happening here. Um, with the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, this person may be offering you something, okay? They're all, you may be offering to take you out. Um, but with the Ten of Wands here, I'm showing that these offers are actually stressing you out. Okay, they're stressing you out. And with the Queen of Cups here, this is telling me that emotionally, yeah, it's stressing you out emotionally. And with the Page of Swords, it's like you just don't believe this person. Like you, you feel like they're not, maybe that they're not telling the truth. Yeah, they're saying what they're saying, whatever they need to say to make them look good to feed their ego. Or they're saying whatever they need to say to be victorious. Okay. So now on your person side, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So this person is very attracted to you, Sagittarius. Um, but the problem is, is that they do not love you. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So there's a magnetic attraction, but there's not enough attraction to actually make this a real thing. So this might be a third party situation. Um, we have the eight of swords. Yeah, this person may be trapped in a relationship or you may be trapped in this feeling like, you know, well, this is their side. So I feel like they're trapped in a situation that they can't get out of making this a third party situation. We have the six of cups. This is an ex, the mother of your child, the father of your child, a childhood lover. Um, and we have the death card. We could be dealing with a Scorpio. Something ending, something new beginning. And um, we have the hanged man. So I feel like this person possibly is going through a separation right now. And <clears throat> their hands are tied. You know, that this is um, right now they, they're, they're not emotionally available 
with the eight of swords because they still have the mother of their children in the picture or they're still thinking about an ex a relationship that just recently ended and they're probably waiting to see if there's going to be reconciliation so with the four of pentacles they're holding on to something right now they're holding on to something and what's crossing the situation is the lying the cheating the manipulate the manipulation okay the outcome here is going to be the seven of wands we have somebody here trying to block this new beginning so someone's coming in wanting a new beginning and Sagittarius I feel like you may be blocking it because you're very confused about this situation you're very confused with the five of wands which you have every right to be because this person emotionally is just not available right now clear as day we've got the king of swords Aquarius Gemini Libra energy sitting on his throne with that sword ready to cut out anybody at any time because this person is not emotional this person is just thinking strategically he's very seductive very cunning this is someone who knows how to get what he wants without getting emotionally involved um he will leave you out in the cold in a heartbeat okay he will leave you out in the cold in a heartbeat with the five of pentacles or she will leave you out in the cold in the heartbeat um yeah, we have the Six of Pentacles here. This is a third party uh, situation for me with the Six of Pentacles. We have the Emperor here, which is a husband and a father, someone who's, you know, in control of everything. And um, the High Priestess here, Cancer Scorpio Energy. This is the Mistress card, okay? This is a man who's infatuated with a woman that he cannot have, or vice versa. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. Um, if this resonated, please be sure to like. Please don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win. And if you would like more clarity and guidance on your own personal situation, you can uh, reach me. My information is in the description box below. Take care, guys.